Okay, hey, let's meet, man. Have a seat. Find somewhere and sit down, please. And I truly believe that this weekend is going to be the test for you guys, okay? I really believe that, okay? It's going to test you physically. It's going to test you mentally. Let's go to work. Let's get ready for tomorrow, man. All right, that's it. Eagles on three. One, two, three. Eagles. Eagles on three. One, two, three. Eagles. Let's go, baby. LD, smile for me, baby. Smile for me, mom. Go on, baby. There you go. Shake it off, baby. Our 4 by 200 last week did very well. They uh, broke the school record. Alexis Duncan from last week ran 13-2. She's getting better and better each week. Let's go to work. Seniors lead us, lead us, lead us. <laughs> this year, Trevin set a uh, uh, PR. He PR'd in the 200-meter. Uh, the next goal is for him to make it to state. Good, Darren. At uh, regionals, only the top two qualify. It's very intense. There's going to be a lot of fast teams. A lot of fast times. There's going to be a lot of fans there. Weather permitting, I think it'll be outstanding. Great day to be an Eagle, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they said there's dangerous lightning in the area, so we gotta go under the stands. Another siren just went off, and I'm irritated right now because it's my third time, fourth time warming up for one race. Storm is cleared, we're back on the track. It's almost 11 p.m. for the boys 200 meters and we'll see three of the fastest in the nation, Trevin Chambers in lane number five, 2093, Ian Braxton and Jackson Gleason on his inside. Chambers out well, but they're coming up on him from the inside and whoa, Chambers is all over that line. He might even step on the outside of lane number four. We'll have to wait and see. Chambers has got to be top four to qualify. He'll do that, but up front, it's Ian Braxton and Jackson Gleason. They'll go one, two, Gleason running fast. Chambers will go through if he's in this race, but watch out, he was all over that line. Today is the second day of the regional uh, championship meet. And uh, man, after a long, it really doesn't seem like it's the second day. It feels like I just left here a few hours ago. Yesterday uh, was, was interesting, you know, Trevin ran, uh, the 200 meters last night. Uh, I want to say at about 10:30 at night, after warming up three or four times, um, he ran well. He finished fourth in his heat, but he ended up being disqualified because the judge, line curve judge, said that he stepped on the uh, uh, line three consecutive times and he ran out of his lane, so they disqualified him, where he probably would have been in the finals running uh, to try to make it to state in the 200 today. I got disqualified. It kind of sucks, but got to have a good mindset for my teammates. Since I scratched the 100 yesterday and got disqualified in two, the only thing I can do now is a 4x1 and 4x2, and if the 4x4 need me, I'll be on standby. All right, let's go. Watch line four. Next up on the track, the girls' 100-meter hurdles, and we'll see Alexis Duncan, second fastest in Texas right now, number five in the U.S. Guns off, and there she goes, Alexis Duncan out quickly. She won by over half a second yesterday, and she's looking like she's gonna do it again here. Clean over the hurdles, Alexis Duncan, one of the fastest in the nation, on to the state meet, 13.44. 100 meter dash is off to a white number three in the nation, Aishanique Hamilton, number 11. There they are in the middle of the screen. White's got the edge right now. Hamilton cannot respond. Kira White of DeSoto is going to win the women's 100 meters. And 
It's time to heat things up with one of the premier events of the meet, the boys' 4 by 100 meter relay. The Mansfield Tigers come in on top at 40.78. That's number nine in the United States. Behind them, the DeSoto Eagles at 41.04. DeSoto in three, they're off. Mansfield in lane six. Let's watch this develop. As they come into the first exchange, DeSoto's gonna hand off to Tremon Chambers, who's disqualified in the 200 last night. He's got something to prove and he wants to put his team in position. DeSoto in three, looking pretty good as they make up ground. They hand off, Mansfield right there as well. Coming around the bend, the Soto Eagles look like they have a lead right now. Let's see what they can do going into this last exchange. The anchor leg, London Dunn with a clear lead on the field. Can Mansfield make it up? I think it's too much. The Soto, they're gonna win the boys four by one. What will the time be on the clock? 40.53, number two in the United States. That is a huge run for the Soto. It's a great day, a great day to be an Eagle, and uh, we're excited about being able to advance the state. I'm going to state now. It means a lot to me. I'm very happy. On my way to state, and I can't wait. And this race was really special to me because I broke my record, my school record, and I set a new regional mm -hmm. record. And I'm pretty sure I'm Texas number one, and I'm working on being U.S. number one. We're going to have two weeks to train, get the little uh, uh, strains and bruises and stuff taken care of, and then we'll go to Austin and compete on the biggest stage in the state. Next time. Our main competition is ourselves. Uh, you seniors, it's your last one, man. State championship. Every event is important. We're ready to go.